Hey guys, this week we're heading back to the Kennedy Space Center and I have another interview to show you guys. This person flew in 64 combat missions in the Phantom F-42, became an astronaut in 1979, and then in 1984 piloted the Shuttle Challenger. And currently, he is part of Kennedy Space Center's astronaut encounter team. Let's have a talk with astronaut captain John McBride. Uh, what inspired you to become an astronaut in the first place? I was lucky to grow up when I did because uh, in my junior high high school days we were picking astronauts and the Russians were picking cosmonauts and we were launching satellites and they launched Sputnik and all these kind of things. It got me excited about science and space and rocketry and airplanes. And I guess uh, it got in my blood at an early age and never got out. That's awesome. So you've been in space. Can you recall any interesting moments? Uh, from takeoff to landing. Yeah. <laughs> Every moment was interesting. I, there's a couple that stand out, obviously, and I guess uh, one in my mind really pops up every time I think about it is my first glimpse of Earth from space. You know, that's something oh. I, I dreamt about all my life. Worked toward when I finally got up there that morning and the uh, payload bay doors were opening. It was my job to open them, and as, as they started opening, I realized that I was on the other side of the Earth 45 minutes after leaving Kennedy. And we were flying over Australia, and as the doors got wider and wider, I, I just had to take a couple of deep breaths because I felt my heart was going to jump out of my chest. I was just so excited that after all these years, I was finally seeing Earth from space. And as the doors opened, I could see all the continent of Australia unfold underneath me. And I, I knew right away what an exciting adventure this was going to be. That's, that's really awesome. So here at Kennedy Space Center, there's all these exhibits that can inspire more generations of astronauts. What's your favorite part about this whole visitor complex? Uh, what you're seeing right now, this beautiful Atlantis on display. She's a wonderful lady in a wonderful venue, and we've really uh, set her up beautifully for hopefully decades to come, for many people to come and get as much inspiration out of Atlantis as I got from the early days. So I've been reading some of your bio. I heard that you were in scouting. Did that have any impact on your career? I think 90 or 95 percent of all astronauts were scouts, so you obviously say there's got to be some kind of a, a uh, influence from scouting onto the astronaut corps because we all were basically scouts at one time in our lives. So it's a good leadership uh, uh, place to learn leadership characteristics and traits, so I would suggest that all the young people still explore scouting as an opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a good leadership opportunity. Um, so I like museums, I love them, I love to focus on them. And I wanted to talk with you about some stuff, some artifacts, historical things that you've encountered. First, uh, can you tell about your experiences with the F-4 Phantom II? Wow, I, uh, <laughs> I've i got about 2,000 hours of flying the Phantom. I flew it in Vietnam. I've got 600 carrier landings and takeoffs. My match, my takeoffs match my landing. That's a very good thing in the Navy. But I was one of the first, what we call ensigns, which is the lowest grade officer to get to fly the Phantom. So I was very lucky to fly for as many hours as I did, and had as many takeoff and landings and matched. And, uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful area. It was the workhorse of the fighter community back in my day, so I was very honored to get to fly it. That's great. Um, thank you so much for talking with me today. Uh, and to the viewers, if you want to learn more about John McBride, I'll have a link to his bio in the description. Thank you. I'd like to thank Captain McBride for sharing his experiences with us. He certainly flew some amazing machines. And if you're interested in them, you should check out some museums. First off, the Kennedy Space Center. They have a shuttle, rockets, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Also, there's the Pacific Aviation Museum, Pearl Harbor, where they have an outstanding collection of military aircraft, including the Phantom F-42. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!